Good evening, Koha. Good evening, Kohog. I'm Tom Tucker. Can a woman really be mayor? Or will she just menstruate all over the city? Stay with us. In other news, Kohog will be experiencing rolling blackouts to help meet Superstore USA's extensive power demands. The electric company would like a... Hey, Stewie, uh, look, something came up. I'm not going to be able to do the picnic today. Oh, oh, was that, was that today? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no way I can make that either. I'm, I'm, I'm canceling too, man. <laughs> wow, good memory, though. I, I totally blanked on that. Stewie Griffin! My God, Bertram! But how is this possible? I, I killed you! You only killed me in this universe, you fool! Oh, so you got yourself a multiverse remote, huh? Indeed I did! Wait, ho hold on. Will someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? <sighs> Sorry, hang on one sec. You remember the multiverse theory? Yeah... It's the one about how there are alternate universes that coexist with ours on parallel dimensional planes. So, in each of these universes, the reality is different from our own. Sometimes only slightly, sometimes quite radically. This Bertram is from a universe where we never killed him. Okay, okay, I think I got it. Sorry, not a genius. Now, what do you want? Well, I can't possibly allow a universe to exist without me in it. I'm traveling the multiverse, building up an army to exact my revenge on you. When I return, I'm going to destroy your universe completely. See you soon, Stewie. <laughs> Brian, this is bad. With a cross-dimensional army, he'll have no problem destroying our universe. Who knows what he's going to bring back here? Well, what are we supposed to do? We have to try and stop him before he can organize his attack. All right, Brian, we're going to need to arm ourselves. I'm sure he knows we're going to come after him. His armies are going to be waiting for us every step of the way. You think... You think maybe I can use one of your ray guns? No, I get Stewie weapons, you get the boring stuff. That's what we're doing. Fine. But how are we going to find him? He could be anywhere, right? Luckily, I just updated my multiverse remote, so I have tracking software now. We'll be able to follow every move he makes. Hang on, Bry. We're going back to the multiverse. What the hell? Wait a minute, Brian, this isn't where we were supposed to go. What do you mean? I don't know, the remote's not working for some reason. You know, everyone said, get on the cloud, it's going to be great. And everything's been a nightmare since. Well, can you fix it? I don't have the proper tools. But maybe we can find someone who does. All right, well, can you at least find out where we are? According to the multiverse remote, this is a universe ruled by Greeks. So, what does that mean? Fat, hairy philosophers in togas or fat, hairy greaseballs in speedos? Oh, yeah, Greeks have always been gross and still are. But no, it's not those kinds of Greeks, Brian. It's worse. It's frat boys. Hey, those guys aren't like us. Get those knob gobblers. Crap, Brian, run! We have to find someone to help us fix my remote! What's a knob gobbler? You'll understand when you're older. Come on, Stewie, we gotta find someone who can fix the remote. Pinatas? Really? What are we, 12? Hey, you two. Do you want to pledge to our fraternity? Here's a Torah and some bacon to rub on your face so you break out. This might sound a little odd, but do you know if there's like an electronic store or a creepy Armenian guy in a dimly lit apartment who can fix a multiverse remote? Oh, I can help you get that fixed, but I'll require a service in return that's worth more than the service I'll be providing you with. We need you to help our fraternity throw a better party. We've been standing around complaining for hours, but that doesn't seem to be a party to the Gentiles. Here's some ammo. Now go shoot those lame balloons down. Oh, wait until I put my earplugs in. The other frat boys want to hit me because my face is covered in snot. 
się strata w podzielę wiary. I cały czas trwa Can't fire your guns without ammo. This party's lame. I think there's someone throwing up over there just because they're nervous. All right, Pry, here's the deal. Only one of us fighting at a time. Think of it like tag team wrestling. When you get hurt or too tired, tag out. Now, oh look, there's a sorority girl running down the street. I bet her dad's so rich. Dude, wait until my bros see these nasty pictures of you. Hey, get back here with those. I was gonna wait one more year before I leak naked pictures of me online. You should go talk to that sorority girl and see what's the matter. Also, ask her how much her dad has in his retirement fund. I'm feeling lightheaded. Oh my god! That scumbag stole pictures of me and my sorority sisters! I'll pretend to like whoever gets them back. Nice nips! Wow! Someone should buy her a razor. I'd say she's a low seven. Get those guys! They're with the nerves! to buy your friends. Well, now I won't feel bad about crapping my pants. I'd bang that when I'm blacked out. You want the pictures? Come and get them. I already yanked it to them anyway. These two dorks just won't quit. Come on, let's just be bros. Okay, bro? I think that boy in the pool is dead. No, he's just swimming. You see, college is all about having fun. Nope, he's dead. No one's helping him. Hey, you two, come over here. I need someone to pretend to talk to. I'm uncomfortable. Oh, good job getting those pictures. You should try to find more of them so you have material to shamefully touch yourself to at night, or even very early in the morning. Now, I got a keg, but didn't want to put the deposit down for the tap. Would you find one for me? Oh, I think that house over there has one. Let me know if you guys want to drink with me. I could always do your companion. Hey, it's those douchebags who stole the pictures of us. <laughs> 